Well, you all said it, didn't you, in my alternator's review? Oh, Gavin, please get some toys in the Binaltech line, they're so much better. Well, okay, here they are, and you better all be right, I tell you, or there'll be trouble. I got Broadblast here from Dublin City Comics a while back, and I totally forgot that I had it, which is not to mean that Broadblast is a forgettable toy. In fact, this little weirdo really stands out. They're from the Binaltech Asterisk line that came at the tail end of Binaltech, where they all came with these little PVC figures. Now this is just before Kiss Player, so I don't feel like too much of a creep. Vehicle mode first, like all Binaltech, these are based on officially licensed real world cars, in this case the Scion XB, a division of Toyota or something, who cares about car stuff, honestly don't tell me. It's not the, the coolest car in the world is it? I can see a lot of people being dropped off for swimming practice in this thing. Still, it's the attention to detail and the quality of construction that makes this thing worth messing around with. The doors open and we get this nicely detailed dashboard and steering wheel, and about 90 seats. I'm not exaggerating. There's a lot of heavy die cast parts and the whole thing feels substantial. Crack open the bonnet and you've got this engine. That's nice, isn't it? And pop the boot. You've got some nice robot feet. Now, considering the character we've got here in Broadblast, a version of Blaster, I would have preferred the feet to have been maybe moulded to resemble big speakers, like it had a big tricked out sound system. You know, yeah, maybe. Who's, who's with me? Who's with, Ah, fine. Let's take a quick look at Lumina, Broadblast's partner and Rovin News reporter. And there you go. Done. We had a look at it. It's fine. The cool thing, if you want to call it that, is that you can take off her arms and take off her legs and you can get Lumina into the driving position. And she can drive Broadblast with a posture that will definitely come back to haunt her. Transformation isn't that bad. It's complex, but it's on the right side of fiddly. Legs don't pose much of a problem. It's just remembering that you have to fold the doors down before folding the arms out from the front end. You know, I'd totally forgotten this part and I was stumped for about five minutes or so. The other challenge is making sure you're transforming it correctly. Considering how awkward the robot looks, it can be difficult to know when you're done with it. And it's... it's a robot. It's, it's a retool of Binaltech's skids, but in cross-cut colours and as blaster. Very odd. I do like the blaster head sculpt, although I wish he did have his antennae. And you unplug the engine from the back of his head and you fold it out for the crappiest looking excuse for a gun I've seen in a while. I think probably more than the alternators I reviewed, Broadblast feels more like a robot bursting out of a car, or at least using a car like armour. And that's cool, at least. There's a decent range of movement, especially in the arms. I really wish there was more keeping the whole thing upright though than these loose ball joints. It can make standing them up a test of patience. But overall, it's a cool sculpt. It feels unique and distinct, and I have a soft spot for Blaster anyway. And coupled with the cumbersome and some may say ugly body, it's extremely relatable. Plus the back seats make it look like he has a big arse. It's win-win.